How does it feel living in a haunted house? You don't get used to it. See, we was just a normal family before this. It's been getting worse since Mr. Grove started talking to it. I wonder what would happen if we tried talking to it now. Is anybody there? Is anybody there who wishes to communicate? Is your name? This is my home. Get out now. All right, so I'm going to have to really concentrate not to turn into Chris Farley on your director because I think he's awesome. <laughs> so now, please tell me how. I mean, how is it being directed by him in, in a movie where he's clearly a master of what he's doing? So your take on James? It's amazing. Um, James on set, he was always so helpful and giving of his time. He always explained everything. Perfectly. I mean, he is a perfectionist, and I think that's why his films have so much detail, and um, that's why the final product is always great. Okay. Yeah, I think with James, like, he knows what he wants. Mm. He loves telling stories. He loves film. So you're with someone who just loves what he's doing, and that's very infectious. And he's just a true creative, I think, too. He's so creative in terms of how he's kind of coming up with stuff in the moment and adding stuff and... It's just really great to be around. And he's a great actor's director too, mm. but you feel very safe with him and he'll push you in a certain direction. You think, oh, is that too much? And he's like, no, 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 you can go a little bit further. And it's great being with someone like that who can challenge you at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned, you can tell that he's a stickler for details. I mean, obviously the way that the, the art direction and the way mm. that everything's set up, but how do you split the homework? Because it's, it's based, these stories based on real people. So do you guys like, how did you handle that aspect of playing real people? I think just doing research, there's so much stuff online now mm. uh, that's documented about the people, audio files and visual files, and um, uh, there's a lot of people who are involved in that case, uh, and they've, they've done interviews, so there's all of that. I live in London, so I went up to Enfield, mm. and I went to where the house was and talked to people from Enfield, that kind of thing. And then um, Maddie talked to the real... Yeah, yeah, I actually got to meet wow. Janet and Margaret, which was... A great thing they were both so sweet and so nice on set but I think it really influenced my performance because it made me want to tell their story correctly I think that um, they deserve that much after all they've been through you know mm -hmm. so I'm always fascinated of when as actors you have to do these really intense scenes and you have to do it for coverage and over and over again and there's only not only one scene you go through the ringer what's the mood on like on a film like this you decompress or you guys stay in it uh, I'm always fascinated by that I think you do all of that some days you just need to stay in it mm. and it's a bit serious on set and other days it actually helps to release and just have a laugh after a take mm. um, it just depends I think um, I agree it yeah. depends on the scene you're filming yeah and of course like the people around you like mm. if they're if they're um, laughing and joking and kind of keeping the spirits up, I think that might help sometimes. Yeah, I think so. And we shot a lot of stuff in rain too, mm. and everyone got wet, and yeah. <laughs> so that's tough too, I think. Wow. But yeah. Any particular scene you found? Because you know, your character does has a, an amazing arc. So anything that you felt really, really nervous about or challenged by? Because uh, it is interesting. Well, I think um, the um, hardest part for me filming was probably channeling my inner Bill. Mm. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> and you say that with a gleam in your eyes. Yeah. I don't think it was that hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that it was pretty tricky for me just because obviously I've never done anything like that before. And I had a lot of help with that. So. Okay. I find it interesting now with social media, like everybody gets to be judgy about stuff, uh, about everything. So yeah. was it sort of liberating to sort of play? what the reality of a parent, that eventually you're going, going to make a mistake, so you're not always going to say the right thing at the right time. And, and, and I, love, I mean, the thing yeah. I like about Peggy is that if you met her, you'd probably think that she was kind of quite harsh. But I think underneath that all, she has so much love for her kids and she'd do anything, you know, to save them. So the kind of juxtaposition of that is really fun to play, you know, because she's a set 1970s parent. There was no so kind of psychology about, mm -hmm. you know, how to be good to your kids or that kind of thing. So I think that's... I mean, for me, that was fun to play. Yeah, it's, it's really fun to see. Okay. Anyway, pleasure talking to you guys. Yes, you did a fantastic you so job. Thank, thank you. you.